All right, Jared, welcome to Crushing PBs. Uh, this is where we make our ultimate sandwich. And we asked some questions along the way. What is your take on peanut butter sandwiches? Uh, peanut butter sandwiches are a staple in many runners' diets. Yeah. So, uh, and they're certainly a staple in my house. So I feel like you're a man involved in a lot of things. How do you balance all of these things in your life? There's no balancing, it's a juggling act. Are you a strawberry guy, a grape guy? At home, the only thing I ever eat is raspberry because I make my own. Oh. I saw going through your Instagram feed that you were on Shark Tank. Can you explain just like, what is the experience like? It felt a lot like being in the bullpen before a race. It felt a lot like a race. More nervous for Shark Tank or more nervous for a race? Probably more nervous for Shark Tank. Do you have a hidden talent that is not running? I like playing the piano. I played the trumpet through high school. I could do one hand on the trumpet. <laughs> Maybe one hand on the piano. Jared, I thought this was fun and going back on your Instagram, one of your first photos you ever posted. What I'd like is like, you just walk us through what, what's happening here and what's this emotion on your face as you're holding the sandwich? So sandwiches are our top of the food chain to me. This picture was taken at the start of a road trip. We left our house, we drove one mile to the Amish sandwich place. We got a sandwich and then we drove to Colorado for a race. So this was the beginning of pre-race Fuel. In three words, what is, how does one grow a good mustache? <laughs> DNA. <laughs> it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to run in a sauna suit, or it's negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're running in just compression shorts. I'm going to run in the heat. You think you can handle it? I think so. Yeah. I kind of like the heat. Your favorite Saucony shoe is what? Pro. Because it's fast, right? Gotta run fast. Run to or run from? A mustache that twirls at the end. <laughs> I keep thinking about it, but so far I run from it. Old school flip flops. Mmm. Gotta leave them in. Yeah, run from. It's it's slides. We're in a slides era, yeah. and they're better. Vegetables. Mmm. Run to. How about lifting weights? Run to. As a distance runner, you know, the act of, of submaximal running is you're breaking your body down, breaking your body down, breaking your body down. And that time in the gym is the flip side of that coin of building your body back. Utah Jazz, run to or run from? <laughs> That's loaded. Heartbreak Hill. Run to it, but it's a tough hill 20 miles into the Boston Marathon. <laughs> Jared Ward's mic drop moment, a statement to leave people with. Mine would be to emphasize that we all have stories to tell. We all have insights on life. We can all help the people around us and inspire. We like we know things and we've learned things. One to ten, your sandwich. This is like a, like a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Good sandwich. All right.